approach. The approach. The approach gotta be more gorilla on it. Americans and we care about it just the way that you do. You know, I think some, I think people see a lot of celebrity stuff on TV and it seems very abstract. Like, you know, we all ride around limos all day and sleep in baskets full of puppies and just drink champagne and, you know, I had a bowl of diamonds for breakfast today. Um, we're just working Americans and, 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 and most actors, you know, there's that one kind of 1% of the stratosphere that is living that way. Most of us are just working Americans. We pay taxes. We worry about health care. We have children. We care about the same things that you do. If, uh, if uh, you know, if the lady that checked out your groceries at the supermarket could get a crowd to come and talk about politics, her opinions would be just as valid as ours. We're just providing a service for, for a cause that we believe in. It's a gift as a celebrity to be able to show up at an event and get people to listen. Not that I think that my ideas are better than everybody else's, but if I can help, if I can show up and help, if we can help, that's all we're here to do. We're not here to be like, we're so fabulous. We're just here to hopefully get you guys to think about how fabulous you are and the changes that you can make. And as, as I said before, uh, you know, the, we're in such a uh, we're, we are in such a bad place. Like when when you just asked me that question, you know, eight eight answers came came you know uh, flooding through my head, and, and, and I honestly can't. Uh, uh, you know, put one ahead of the other because you know, we are, I am getting older and now we're, you know, the idea of a family is, is, is right on us, so education is there and, and, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to figure out what kind of a world, you know, m my children are going to uh, grow up in. So, uh, I, I don't even, I don't even have an answer for that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I guess if we could clear up, you know, uh, all of these these wars <laughs> that we're in, you know, I think that would be cool. Yeah. Um, start there so that we could, you know, start focusing more on our on our own country. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's start. It. Well, it sounds like this dependence on oil. This, uh, if we could, if we could really put all this time into innovation and and. Um, experimenting with different uh, ways of creating new energy, but that would solve like a lot of different things, right? Because it would, it, would, uh, it would clean up our planet, it would provide uh, new jobs. I mean, imagine, remember when they said like we're gonna go to space? People probably were like, what? You know, whatever, and, and they did, and, they, and then how many, you know, scientific things have they discovered because of this that have health health issues and whatever and and, and so there's that and then, and then there's the fact that we just won't be reliant on these these other countries for oil which then of course uh, goes into the whole terrorism thing and so it seems like this idea that he has to to really in the next 10 years put the money into that where they said like let's put the money into going to the to the moon and they did I think they could do that with this and figure out how to get our cars riding around and whatever I don't understand all the different <laughs> energies but you know that and, and 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 then you know there'll be great inventions and new jobs and new factories and new th new places to solve these economic problems that we're having for people to to go into and, and so I don't know that's a boring answer but I think it's a, you know probably I, I would say two things. I would say the one thing that's most important to me is that we have a government that um, feels like it is responsible to its citizens again. Um, I, I think if you look at what's happened over the last eight years, it's uh, we've had an administration that decides what it wants to do and then figures out a way to, if they can't, uh, persuade you it's the right way to go, they'll lie about it to get you to figure out the which way to go. And then when we all discover that they were lying about it, they come up with a new set of lies to cover the old set of lies. And I would like a government that respects the American people, respects that we are all, we all, because now what you're seeing, and I, I don't want to get too, too wonky, but um, this is a government that essentially just kind of like had a big party and then took all his toys and is running away. They spent all our money, yes. they, they, then they saw there was 
a little bit of money left in the, in the bank account, and they're writing one last big whopping check to clear it out. And they're going to ride off into the sunset. And we are going to be left holding the bag, and not just for the next four or eight years, but for just decades. And it's it's. We could have been spending the trillions of dollars that we were spending on Iraq if we had just taken that money and put it back into this country. Yes. Just think about where we would be now. Yes. We might have we wasted, you know, all these, these billions of trillions of dollars, but now we're about to spend another trillion dollars on this bank bailout, which is a direct result of the lax economic policies of this administration. Yes. We are being robbed. Yes. And we have got to wake up and kick that robber in the face and yeah. shove his butt into the street. Yeah. Hopefully into moving oncoming traffic. Um, <laughs> so that's my main issue. And, and I think that the subset of that is that when you have a government that respects its people, then they do what the people want and not what they want. Yeah. And and you know, this is a this again, this is an administration that like they had these pet projects where they gave these no big contracts to Halliburton and they were giving Halliburton these multi billion dollar contracts without having to compete for them. And then Halliburton took all those billions of dollars and moved to uh, Dubai so that they wouldn't have to pay taxes. I mean it's like oh okay, all right. stops being about how rich they're going to get and starts being about how, how healthy and safe and rich they're going to make Americans. Yes. That's what I am.